Hello again, my name is Cindy Seitz Krug with Quintessential Quilting. Thanks for joining me this week for another grid-based quilting design. Um, this week I've got one that when it's quilted up it reminded me of a beaded curtain. And you probably don't remember this because you're too young, but back in the 60s and 70s people made um, like door dividers out of beads and my old babysitter had one that I just loved as a little kid. I would just look at those beads because they were all different. It was before you could buy prefab beads to hang in your doorway. This, these she strung by herself. But our design today looks like all similar beads hanging and it just looks like a beaded curtain to me. So that's what I'm calling it. Come on over and I'll show you how easy it is to do. So this one, um, we do on a diagonal grid. So I've got my little three quarter inch um, diagonal grid. And again, these pre-printed grid practice panels are available on my website if you're interested. So we're gonna work in this area. And for this one, you do quilt your grid lines and I've already done them with my little ruler, but I did change my ruler foot off and I've got my open toe foot. So once you quilt your grid lines, then you're just gonna add your little um, hanging beads and I'm not going to start on an edge because remember I told you sometimes to start on an edge it's confusing so I'm going to go in and fill in the full grids first and then come back and do that edge and I'm using a very soft lavender thread so you can see it and this would look good with colored thread or the same color so we're just going to do this soft S inside of our grid box Okay, and now we'll get to the top, get rid of these threads. When we get to the top, we're going to come back down that same row. Okay, so those look like long beads to me. Now we're going to go over to our next row. And so here we have a partial square. I'm going to pretend we have half of a bead there and just do the same thing. Um, this one really has an oriental look to me, sort of like the Sashiko designs, although I don't think this is a Sashiko design, but um, who knows, I may be wrong. But it really just has that oriental feel to me. This one I think would look good on almost any size of grid. Um, this is, you know, the three quarter inch diagonal grid, but I think it would look good on a one inch grid and a half inch grid. Sort of simplistic, but, um, but very pretty nonetheless. And again, uh, not only does it have an oriental feel, it has a, a modern quilt feel to me also. I could just see that in a modern quilt. All right, so we are down here at our partial row. Let's just see how we're going to do that. Travel over to that other side. Down 
have a look. So that's what I'm calling the beaded curtain. What do you think? Does it sort of look like that? If you guys can think of a better name, you need to send me a, uh, make a comment on YouTube and uh, let me, let me know what you think it should be called. In fact, any of these designs, if you want to rename them, I would love to hear your ideas. But there's our beaded curtain. Let's look at the back. So there it is without the grid lines and that's just a very nice, um, simple yet elegant grid based quilting design. Alright. Okay, so thanks for joining me. Let me again mention my book, The Grid Design Workbook. Um, that design is not in this book, but there are 13 designs in here with, um, like I said, handwritten instructions, step-by-step -step instructions, tips. You know how I'm always giving you tips along the way when we're doing these? This book is full of tips to make your grid-based quilting designs successful. Um, and it shows you how they look in different sizes. So I hope you'll check that out on my website, quintessentialquilting.com or many other websites like AQS or Amazon or anywhere. And of course, my 30 tips and tricks DVD and online class. Um, again, these are things that I've come up with in my um, 25 years of machine quilting on a home sewing machine and things that I've been frustrated with and that I found easy solutions to so I'm sure there are certain things that you find frustrating when you're um, quilting on your domestic machine so I'm just I bet you can find lots of information in my online D class or this DVD to help you with that so 30 tips and tricks for better machine quilting and this is just a lecture demo class you don't do a project or anything you simply watch it and absorb the information and and find lots of new tricks so all right, hope you'll check those out and join me next week for another grid-based quilting design. Thanks. Bye.